Hi, I'm Reno Cabral at SystemRecipes.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Active Directory on your Server 2016 Technical Preview 2. To install Active Directory, if you just go to your Server Manager. Before installing Active Directory, if you just go to your local server, make sure you change your computer name to a proper computer name because def by default, Microsoft has this long weird name for the computer. Then the next thing that you need to do is make sure you have a static IP address assigned to the server. It's very important that you have a static IP address because it's going to be your domain controller. Now you can click on manage and then click add roles and features or else you can just go to your dashboard on a server manager and then click on add roles and features. In add roles and features wizard you can just click next click next again click next again and then click active directory domain services click add features click next click next next and click restart the destination serve automatically if required and then click yes and then click install As you see over here, the installation has completed. Let's click on close. Then you'll see this uh, notification sign. If you just click on that, and then it will prompt you to promote it to a domain controller. So you can click on promote this server to a domain controller. It's then going to offer you three options. Add a domain controller to an existing domain add a new domain controller to an existing forest or click on add a new forest okay depending upon your requirements you can click on one of them for me this is a brand new forest I have I don't have any forest or a domain at the moment so I'll create a new forest okay so I'll name this as systemrecipes.com and click next it's then going to ask you for the forest functional level and the domain functional level for me it's going to be technical preview so I'm not going to change any of that but if you have previously installed domain controllers which are running for example 2012 server operating system then you can obviously change it over here okay you can click and then change it to whatever operating system your other domain controllers are in the forest or else in the domain functional level it's also going to install DNS as well as global catalog server on this one and then you can assign a password the directory service restore password so enter the password and then click next it's going to give you this default error message or anything warning sign just ignore that and click next it's then going to look for the NetBIOS name click next it's then going to show you all the default folders whether the database or the logs and syswall folders have been saved if you would like to change the default location then you can change that default location to any other location that you would like but I would suggest leaving it as default and then click on next it's then going to give you a quick summary of whatever you can also click on view script and it will show you all the PowerShell commands okay I'll just close that then if you just check all of that just a quick summary click next it's then going to do uh, a prerequisite check. As you see over here, the prerequisite check has been done and it has passed it successfully. You will get a few warning signs, but just if if you as long as you get it successful, then it's fine. You then click install.
So as you see over here, the server has restarted. So now let's go ahead and log in. Once you log in in your server manager, you should see that Active Directory Direct services have been installed as well as DNS. So let's go ahead and go to Tools and go to Server. Uh, I mean, sorry, Active Directory Users and Computers, and you should be able to see your Active Directory over here. So here you go. Active Directory has been successfully installed. I hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button if you liked it, and subscribe to my channel for more future videos. Thanks for watching.